Hey, if you're like me, you probably use ThermalWorks products. Um, they've got the ThermoPen, which is probably the best instant read thermometer out there. Um, it just is very accurate, very fast, um, makes cooking a breeze. Well, ThermalWorks just came out, uh, it's been out maybe a year tops, um, this product called Billows. And so that's a fan that acts as a temperature controller when used in conjunction with um, their signals uh, four-way um, temperature controller. So there are plenty of um, reviews on YouTube for this product. So I'm not going to do a, a product review. Why, why add to the, um, the really good ones that are out there? Um, but what I do want to do is share some tips that are specific to um, Kamado cooking. So if you're a Kamado um, user and you want to use this product, please, uh, you know, take heed of these, these uh, tips because I think they're going to help you be more successful. All right, so here's an overview of the product. This is uh, the billows portion uh, that I was referring to. For my cooker, um, I use this predominantly with my Komodo Kamado. So this is the standard um, plug for <clears throat> adding it to your grill. Uh, there's all kinds of grills that use this intake. Uh, but from Komodo Kamado, you know, make sure you get that one. Um, you can take this part off and then these guys will go right into a, uh, a big green egg or a lot of the other uh, Kamados. So um, that's great. A lot of you may already have this guy here. So this is the signals. Um, and you'll notice it's got four panels, right? So um, it also has four probes. So... Um, these three can be used for three different meats. Um, I actually did this uh, the first time I used it. And then this shorter guy here, it's a little harder to use or to see. Um, I have used these so they're not like pristine like they were when they came out of the package. But you notice this one is a shorter thermometer. It's really meant to be your great temperature. Um, so these guys pinch and then you can imagine if my fingers are your grates, they just kind of stick onto your grates and then they give you a grill temperature you know right at your grill um, so that's really nice that <clears throat> you know you can have up to three different cuts of meat um, or just three different yeah three different things that you're temping on top of um, your grill temperature and so that's why you have these four sections well when you're using this as a temperature controller in conjunction with the billows, essentially this quadrant here becomes your, that's where you plug your uh, fourth thermometer in this fourth slot or probe in this fourth slot. And essentially what it does is um, you can set your temperature here and the app is really easy to use. Um, I'll put a picture here of what my first cook looked like. Yeah, so as I said, the app is really user friendly. This gives you an idea of what the graphing on the app looks like, and it even assigns a different color code. Um, but, you know, even the setup on this is pretty simple. Like I said, I'm not doing a review. Um, I won't go into that kind of detail, but you notice this little pigtail. <clears throat> so this pigtail, um, obviously this end is connected to the signals, and then one of these is connected to power. So it's got a regular, you know, kind of power jack with a USB on the end of it. And then the other one is connected to your fan assembly. So that's this guy. And this is the, the newer um, thing that's available. <clears throat> it does have some built-in um, dust and water protection. So even things like, you know, you'll notice this uh, receptacle here has like a rubber gasket. So when you plug something into it, it's going to be fairly waterproof. <clears throat> the other thing I've noticed, some people have been doing this wrong. Um, Thermal work suggests that you put this in so that it's literally sitting like this. Um, what that does is that it keeps this fan assembly unit here away from the elements. Um, so, you know, typical of these controllers, there's a fan assembly unit here, but when you put this on down like this, not only does it keep your fan assembly unit away from the water, but it keeps your plug away from the water too. So that's one way you can, um, and this is not my suggestion, it's uh, from ThermalWorks, um, but you can elongate the life of your unit by just following that pretty simple 
um, direction. So let me flip this over and get to the tip. I don't want to make too long a video here because um, this is pretty simple, but <clears throat> this something you should know about this unit is that it really has a high volume capacity. What I mean by that is this can push a lot of air. So if you've used one of the other, you know, and I'm not going to name them here, but take your pick of other temperature controllers, you know, some of those have a fairly small, you know, like 10 cubic um, feet of air per minute that they're moving. This, this thing does a lot. I think, I believe it's 45. And so if you think about, okay, you know, they've really touted that as, as a benefit, but if you're using this for a Kamado cooker, um, our cookers by design don't need the kind of airflow that others do. And in particular, you know, something like the Komodo Kamado, very little airflow. So this can just really spike your temperatures up. So I think Billows has learned from experience and they've come up with this product. And so if you're going to order one of these, make sure you get this because, you know, I had to kind of learn the hard way. Um, luckily, before they shipped it, I was able to get it. But of course, you can see what this is. It's a dampener. And if this is, you know, you can imagine this just being open, that gives you everything. Well, this little guy just clips on here, right? All it does is just clip on there. You heard it snap there. And now you have some adjustability. Now they tell you don't do that, right? It has to have some airflow, but um, this gives you the ability to adjust that very high airflow um, without hurting the fan that's in there. So if you're using this for a Kamado cooker, you know, Big Green Egg, Kamado Joe, Komodo Kamado, make sure you get one of these because otherwise you could have uh, spikes in temperature. And, and as you know, with a Kamado cooker in particular, once you go up, it can be hard to come back down. And so this guy doesn't realize that, right? So it's just trying to get to that temperature as fast as possible and not taking into account that these cookers just don't require that level of um, volume of air. So with this in place, I had no problems. Um, this managed my temperatures really nicely. Um, it's a nice unit. I, I, I am glad that I got it, but I'm really glad that I was able to find this particular dampener. Um, so I, I feel it's a must um, if you're, you know, if you're gonna use this. So share your experiences. I'm curious to see what others are experiencing so we can learn from each other. Um, but I wanted to share my experience with you on this. I think it's a great unit, very user-friendly. The app works great. Like I said, there's great videos out there that um, take you through reviews, but this is something I haven't seen a lot of folks talk about, and I think it really can change your experience with this unit.